Hi guys, I am back in Boston visiting family. It is a gorgeous fall day and I thought I'd take you guys along on a weekend vlog. I'm so happy to be here and so grateful that I can work from home and spend time with some of my favorite people. If you've watched my videos, you know I kind of bop around. I do, I do do that. But I'll be here for a hot minute and I'm excited to make videos here again. I definitely miss my routines and of course my friends while I'm here. I took some clips and vlogged a small portion of my day before I flew here to Boston. So I'll insert those clips right here. actually my first time coming back home since I started living alone. I haven't been here since the summertime, so I haven't seen my family in a hot minute. I've seen my parents, but I haven't seen my sister, her husband, or her kids, so I'm so excited. I'm gonna see them today. My use of the word excited has just, it's gone overboard and I need to find new adjectives. I'm so thrilled. A few of my friends you saw in those clips before are coming to visit soon and I'll try to get some footage from that weekend. But starting off with this weekend, we'll start yesterday. We're going backwards a little bit. A couple of my parents' friends are actually visiting and one of them is an Italian immigrant. So he's very particular about his Italian food and of course is an incredible cook. So he made us the most delicious seafood spaghetti last night and I'll insert the clips right here. Our night was really just fueled by pasta and wine and I can't think of a better Friday night. today and it's about 11 a.m. It is clearly sunny and bright and beautiful here in Boston, Massachusetts and I'm so happy about this weather but it is supposed to get cloudy and rainy at around 4 or 5 p.m. so really just gotta take in the day and enjoy it until it's time to go inside. We're spending a portion of today in Cambridge to visit my sister. We're going book shopping and doing a bunch of fun things. So I will take you along with me. My neighbor, my neighbor's out. I'm gonna stop filming now. My neighbors are out in their backyard, like 50 feet away from me. So I think it's time I make eye contact and say hi, because I don't want to be rude. Okay, bye. I don't know why, I just got so awkward. Before I go inside, I'm going to do a quick backlit OOTD. My sweater is from Zara. It is this gorgeous green color. I just have it tucked in to my jeans that are from Abercrombie. They're the 90s crisscross jeans and I'm wearing bay highs. Guys, we are currently in Seaport. The rain forecast moved up, so it's not supposed to rain until five, which is amazing. 
and look how nice it is today. You can't see anything. Here you go. My mom and her friend are both currently in Stonewall Kitchen, which is right there, shopping for a few Christmas gifts. And after this, we are heading to Cambridge. We are now in Cambridge and it got a lot colder because the sun is hiding. So the coat is very much on. a black t-shirt and this champion crew neck from Costco, very comfy. I had absolutely zero motivation today to get myself down here and just sweat. I didn't want to get out of the sheets. It's just so cozy to be under several blankets when it's this cold. And I'm honestly being dramatic. I am. It is 48 degrees, but the sun isn't really out today, so it feels like it's so much colder. What is this? But I'm gonna work out. We're gonna get it done and over with so we can move on with the day. The crew neck is off. I finally felt warmed up enough, but it took me about two miles. I did both an interval jog and also an incline walk. I did plan on doing a leg day, but that's gonna have to happen tomorrow. And I'm just gonna finish this workout off with some arms and core. Arms? Some arms and core. I just combined arms and abs. If only it were that easy. I really dislike doing abs, but we're gonna do it. I'm done working out and showering, and now it's time for lunch, so I thought I'd show you what I'm eating. So there's rice and quinoa under all of this, but this green stuff over here is called akura papu, and it's basically spinach and lentils cooked with a bunch of spices, but it tastes way better than it looks. This is bandy or okra, aka ladies fingers. Over here we have some cauliflower and potatoes that were cooked together, and then some fried shrimp. It's been a few hours since lunch and I've just been reading Beautiful World Where Are You by Sally Rooney. It's honestly taking me a long time to get through this book. I took a break while reading it for quite some time so I'm only on page 101 but I feel like it's starting to get to the point where I'm like okay I really want to know what happens next. I just wish it didn't take me this long because I love Sally Rooney and usually I feel like her books kind of captivate you immediately and that was just not the case for me with this one. But I'll keep you updated on what I think of it. I'm sure I'll finish it pretty soon. I'm done with reading this for now. It's still too cold to go do anything outside, so my mom and I are going to bake some scones, specifically vanilla orange scones with some walnuts in it, and I'll throw the footage in right here. But as you're watching this, a quick disclaimer. I did make most of this on my own, and I'm not a huge baker, and I don't like to follow recipes. We'll see how this ends up going, but my mom did give me rough measurements as I was going through the baking process, and she's made scones a bunch of times before. They are so good, and I will link the recipe she used when she started learning how to make them down below, and we'll see how they taste.
guys, moment of truth. It is time for a taste test. I cut one of the scones in half and put some of my favorite blueberry jam on it. The jam is actually from Stonewall Kitchen, which is where we went to yesterday in Seaport. And you'd think we didn't have a store nearby by how much of this jam is in our pantry. But honestly, we go through it pretty quickly and it's the only jam I've ever liked, truly. I grew up not liking jam. I would not touch it. I've never had a PB&J and I don't plan to. I'm sure you were all wondering about that. Cheers. It's actually really good, which I'm not surprised because you can't go wrong with butter, flour, and sugar. I was worried that it might be a little too crispy and it is a little, it is a little dark on the bottom. I did bake it a little longer than I needed to, but it's good. It's a little bit crumbly and let me try it plain. I like the top half more than the bottom half. I think for the rest of the evening, we're just going to watch a movie and relax. So I'm going to end this vlog right here and finish up my scone. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give this video a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe if you're new. I will most likely post a video next week and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Thank you.